Quest for a national championship begins today. How's it going, folks? I'm Ryan Kalei Suji, and all week long, we're going to be taking you behind the scenes here on the platforms of Hawaii Athletics to give you an inside look at this year's quest for a national championship for this historic men's volleyball team. How are we doing? Let's go. Hope we win this and the um, smiles on everybody's faces. So we definitely talked about it a lot. Well, we're moments away from boarding the plane. Joining me now is Joe Worsley. Not only is the team heading out to, of course, to compete in the national championship, but the All-Americans list were named today. Joe, you were on that list. Congratulations, first team All-American. What does it mean to you to get that award? Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it was really cool to see so many guys on that list. And we know that last year we had so many guys, but we, uh, we said coming off the, uh, come back from the banquet last year, it's just not even the same without having your team there. Um, and obviously there's a lot of guys I think should have gotten recognized too, but uh, yeah, it's just really cool I think for a whole team to be going out there. Overall, what is your feelings? You're hitting on a plane, going to the national championship. What's your excitement like right, going on right now? Yeah, I know a lot of us are trying to hide our kind of anxiety, but in the locker room right before we left, we were all like so fired up. Um, this is what we talked about kind of all year. Um, is this week and we got, our, we got ourselves in a good uh, position where we're going to be ready to go for sure. One other All-American that was named today, Stein von Tilburg. Stein, congratulations. What does it mean to you to uh, get this award? Um, it just means that uh, we've done it very well. We've done very well over the season. And uh, I'm happy so many of my teammates got to be the All-American with me, so that's awesome. You know, this is the home stretch here. You guys are going on your last road trip together as a team, heading to the national championship. Your thoughts going into it? Yeah, I mean, we have two more, or we hopefully have two more games that we can play, and it was just so much fun to play with these guys one last time, and hopefully bring home some hardware. Well, it's the first day of competition here in the NCAA Championship. Hawaii is set to take on the winner of this match behind me between Lewis and USC. But it's not all competition here. We got a chance to talk to some of the players and learn more about the personalities on this year's team. Best bromance on the team? Probably Max and Gage. Uh, Rado and Stein. I think Jimmy with everybody. Okay. And if I was player, I will be. Me and Colton in the weight room. Rado and Joe, because Rado will do anything to get set by Joe. Probably Gage and Max. <laughs> Gage and Max. <laughs> Who is the best dancer? Me. Gage. 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 Uh, probably Gage. Ooh, Gage. Who has the best pregame ritual? Pregame ritual? Uh... Gage. And what is it? Uh, he goes in the hot tub in his underwear, in his like spandex like underwear. <laughs> Dalton. What does he do? He takes fat naps in the locker room. Dalton. And what does he do? He just gets crazy. Me. Singing in the shower. I think everyone on the team just sleeps, so I don't think anyone really has a pregame ritual. <laughs> Who's the most likely to get married first? James. Huh. James. Uh, Colton. Colton. <laughs> Gross and Meyer. James. For sure. Me. Who spends the most time on social media? Mm, Stein. Mm, 
Stein. Stein Von Tilburg. Stein. Oh, Stein. 100%. Or Colton. One of those two guys. 100% though. Those guys are always on it. Joe. Stein or James? All of them. You can, you can see now that all of them. It's day number three here in Long Beach, and the team is officially practicing for the first time right here in the Walter Pyramid. Now, following this will be an official team press conference, and later this evening will be the All-American Banquet. All of this gearing up for Hawaii's big match tomorrow against Lewis. Well, we're here with Colton Kawa. Colton, first practice here in the Pyramid. Uh, your thoughts after today's practice? I thought we came in and had a lot of energy, and it was, uh, it was a really fun break and a sweat here. You know, you saw the matchup last night between Lewis and USC. What do you think uh, are some of the challenges and some of the things you guys are going to have to do tomorrow going up against Lewis? We're going to have to block really well. We're going to have to be really disciplined. They're a really big physical team, and so we're going to want to get as many hands in front of them as possible. You know, so far you guys are day three here on the road. What has this experience been like for you guys, knowing that you guys have prepared all season long to be in this position? What has it been like to be here? I think as a collective group, we've really, really held ourselves accountable to acting like professionals on the road here and really taking it seriously, getting the proper rest, getting the proper nutrition in. And we're, we're just really excited, really grateful for this opportunity. Hey! Come on! Put your hands up! Everything happened and throw the rest away. Oh. Um, I'm not gonna kind of go and say what we're gonna do, but uh, but yeah, I, I I think we'll be ready to go for sure, and it'll be a good test. Absolutely. We just played together for four years, and uh, we love playing with each other, and this is gonna be our last uh, last couple matches, hopefully. Well, it's game day here in Long Beach as Hawaii gears up in its final preparation before tonight's big match with Lewis in the NCAA semifinals.
Well, the team just finished with their serve and pass in preparation for today's game. Of course, Stein von Tilburg now joining me. Stein, your thoughts heading into this big matchup. It's something you guys have been training for all season long. You guys are finally here. How does it feel? I mean, it's exciting. Uh, it's a win or go home match, and uh, that's always exciting. So we definitely hope to continue winning and, um, yeah, hope to advance. You know, we are playing in the pyramid, but we hear that there are a lot of Hawaii fans who are here getting ready to be here tonight. What does it mean to be able to play here, not at home, but in front of all these Hawaii fans? I mean, it's so special that everybody, like a lot of people flew out. And um, I mean, even my parents flew out all the way from home too again. So uh, yeah, that's a, a little bit of extra pressure, but also a lot of fun because uh, we just love playing for our people. And you're performing on the biggest stage, and you're the best player on the biggest stage. I think mean, that's still matters. Dalton, congrats. What a great win there. Talk about uh, what, the, what it felt like to compete in that match. Uh, I mean, that was awesome. You know, NCAA semifinals, it's, this is the biggest stage for men's volleyball uh, at the collegiate level. Um, and, you know, at this point, it's just advance, it's advance and survive. If it's ugly, it's ugly. But as long as you make it, you know, you win, you win. So, yeah, I'm, I'm happy. So you guys are going to play for a national championship on Saturday uh, against either Long Beach or Pepperdine. Your thoughts going in, potentially with a national championship on the line? It's awesome. I mean, everybody wants to be here, um, but only one team gets to win, and that's, that's the beauty of it. And um, I think, you know, we worked really hard this season. I think we deserve it, but it's not going to be easy. It's going to be a grind. It's going to be a really tough match. No, even if it's Pepperdine or Long Beach, either one is going to be a really tough match. Well, after last night's hard-fought win against Lewis in four sets, it's back to the practice gym for the Rainbow Warrior volleyball team before tomorrow's championship match against Long Beach State. Well, here in the stands last night, there was no lack of support for this Rainbow Warrior men's volleyball team as fans showed their aloha by making their way all the way here to Long Beach. Very excited and I'm glad they won because we made our reservations even before they made it. So we're so excited yes, yes, and we're going to be in the final, yes! Us on the same flight, yeah. all came over from Hawaii just for this game. I tell you, it's a lifetime event for all of us who've been following Hawaii volleyball and making it to the final four and actually getting to the finals. We all felt that we had a chance to win, we didn't, but the team proved that they're a lot more uh, resilient than we were as fans because we were quite nervous going into the fourth set and they came out and just played lights out right from the beginning of the set and one walking away. It was a great match to watch. 
for the people, either whether from Hawaii or even out of state. We know folks who drove down from Stockton, uh, you know, up north, uh, out, out of Oregon, etc. And it's really fun to see the support that the team has earned uh, across, the, not just Hawaii, but like I said, across the West Coast. Playing for Hawaii and playing for the Hawaiian culture is is really special, and it's not it's not an experience that many get to uh, partake in. So for us to represent the entire state of Hawaii is is special. Coming from another place and being able to come out and just represent pretty much what is my second home is one of the most humbling and satisfying feelings in the world. Not many people can say they played a national championship. It's not just being a national championship; it's also winning one. Uh, it's like nerve wracking, but like we've worked so hard, we're ready for it one shot one night to uh, to get this thing done Heartbreak here in Long Beach as Hawaii falls in four to Long Beach State. Long Beach State defending their title and Hawaii finishing the season with an overall record of 28 and three. But no doubt it has been a magical season filled with many memorable moments and outstanding records. The fans here that made their way to Long Beach still showing their aloha for this very special Warrior men's volleyball team. Hawaii saying aloha to four very important and special seniors in Brett Rosenmeyer. Dalton Sobrig, Joel Worsley, and Stein Von Tilburg. All four will be remembered for their accomplishments, but also for what they meant to this team. I came in with this senior class after graduating in 2015, and I knew all of these guys were capable of incredible things. However, the legacy that they have left and that they will leave for us and continue to leave over time um, is, is going to be nothing but nothing but special. Um, there's people that are following this senior class throughout the world, like reaching out to them, talking about how inspirational these guys are, how hard they worked, the resilience they've shown, the stories behind each and every one of their journeys. And if I was to like, sum it up in a few words of what this senior class has meant to me, it would simply be that I love them, and I always will, and they'll always be my brothers, and. And coach put it in a really, really, uh, really good way before the match is that these guys could be at my, uh, my wedding someday as my best men. And that's very, very likely the case. Love you guys. Every single one of you guys. Good job.
again. It's like you don't really know where to begin, but we were one of only a hundred teams ever that has made it this far, and that alone says a lot. You know, that's just an elite group of people, and be part of that was a huge and amazing opportunity. It's my first NCAA tournament, and only I've had the pleasure of like going to watch them and, and either working on, but like this is like the first time I've ever like been to one, and. I just experienced to be, obviously it's dampened a little because of the result of everything, but I think everything's just, it's a great honor to represent Hawaii and be with brothers. I've never had such a bond with uh, so many people that I've played with, and it's just an unreal feeling. Yeah, I remember after the match, I was like, nah, I'm just going to take like a little break, like mentally and physically from volleyball for like a couple weeks, two or three weeks here, and then I'm going to be back, uh, back at it. Uh, a bunch of guys are going to come down and train with us this summer. So that's going to be a huge, huge motivational thing. And I think that everyone, since all 18 guys travel, they get to see like what happened. And there's obviously the result of what happened. So I use that as determination. Then the other one that stood out to me was just the fan base that we got. I mean, you look at the pyramid, and I would say it was half and half fans. You know, like everyone that flew out to come to support us, whoever was in California came out and supported us. Like that's what really made this program special. And it was, I mean, it was an opportunity of a lifetime, and we were really thankful that we were given the opportunity. We really worked hard for it. It obviously wasn't the outcome that we wanted, but we're going to remember that feeling going into next year, and it's just going to push us a little more to get that extra little push that we just needed to come back next year and take care of business, hopefully be given the opportunity again and work hard towards it and actually win that national championship.